Well, uh, good afternoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, today I'm going to finalize or uh, do the last part of this uh, BMS uh, graphics creation of a water tank level management system. Okay, once again, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And you can always click the notification bell so that you will be notified or you will know that there will be a new upload in my channel. Okay. Now, uh, today, as I said, I'm going to finalize this graphics creation, okay? So first, let me try to make it a little bit bigger, okay? Now, guys, uh, this is the final BMS graphics, okay? So what I have done here is put some picture file at the bottom of my graphics, okay? So because I am showing the system or the controllers, and some of the field devices that I'm going to use in order to simulate the operation of this water tank level management system, okay? Now I have here a small control panel here. As I said, I'm going to use this control panel to be able to show you the response of our uh, dynamic text and dynamic value if it is already uh, binded to physical devices, okay? Now, in my last tutorial, I have shown you already how to bind the BMS graphics to physical device or in control panel, okay? Now, today, what I'm going to do is to give you a simple simulation how this uh, water tank level management system works, okay? Now, uh, here, I have some initial value here, okay? I have some initial value here for my water tank. As you can see here, there are several levels in my tank. I have six tanks. Now my final settling tank is full. So this 250, I can say this is the uh, level of the water in centimeter, okay? Based on the uh, differential pressure transmitter reading, okay? Now uh, in real application, you need to make the proper uh, configuration of the differential pressure transducer based on the uh, volume of the tank. Okay, now for the sake of simple uh, simulation, I'm just uh, using a value like 250 centimeter, meaning from the from here, here uh, you can see here zero, from zero to 250 centimeter, meaning my tank is already full. Okay. So 250 centimeter, that will be the height of the level of the water, okay? Or the level of the water from zero to 250 centimeter, okay? So meaning uh, if it is 250, the tank is already full, okay? Now here, uh, 225, the level is 225, 225, 100, okay? Then 225, then this one is 225 also, okay? So likewise, it will be displayed here the level of the water in centimeter. Then I have here the, my spinner to simulate the uh, decreasing and increasing of the water level. So I, if I will click this uh, arrow down, okay, as you can see, the level of the water is decreasing, okay, by 25 points, okay. So I can say, okay, now it is 200 it is 175, okay? So if I will click the up arrow, then the level will go by 25 uh, points, okay? Now, this is just a simple simulation, okay? Now, I, I cannot show you a, a direct animation, okay? So I'm just trying to do the level of water uh, changes, changing by uh, clicking the down arrow and up arrow, okay? Now here I have already the BMS points, then the two pumps, then I have here operator enable. Now operator enable is the operator will try to enable the system, okay? Now by default it's already enabled, okay? Now uh, if there's something wrong, let's say there's some leaking solenoid valve there, then the operator can disable the system so that they can do the uh, repair of the solenoid valve, okay? That's the purpose of enable now the time schedule uh, i think uh, we can say that we will put some time schedule let's say the the 
what are being delivered to the big tank or the main tank here is during the time. Okay, so we can also put some time schedule here. Okay, so let's say from eight to five, our uh, our pump will try to fill any tank that goes to the low level uh, to the low level. Okay, so during that time, the pump will work. Okay, now except for the fire water tank, any time the pump will try to fill this up. Okay, so. Maybe in our control logic program, it will not follow any time schedule. As long as there it is not full, then our pump will try to always fill this tank. Okay. So today, as I said, I'm going to show you the animation. Okay. Now, to give you an idea, uh, I already prepared my uh, control logic program. Let me give you uh, just show you the uh, simple logic control program that I prepared for this, okay? So this is my simple logic program for my simulation, okay? So, okay, so this is my control logic program, okay? So this one is already running in the background, already uploaded to my uh, automation server, okay? Now, as I said, the points are already defined in the uh, IO modules, then this control logic program is already uploaded or working or enabled in my automation server, okay? So in the background, it's already working, okay? Now, so this is my BMS graphics. Let me go back to my BMS graphics. Now, let me show you one uh, simulation for one of the pumps. Okay, let's say this final settling tank. Now, as you can see, uh, the level of the water is around 200 centimeter, okay? So that is the height, 200 centimeter, okay? Now, uh, okay, now in my control logic program, I have used the low level here. My low level is around 75 centimeter, okay? So if the level is around centibit, centibit, 75 centimeter in the water tank, then that's the time that the control will give a low level signal to the system that it's time to fill the uh, final settling tank, okay? So let's us simulate this one. Now here, okay, so let's simulate water is being used in the final settling tank. By the way, this final settling tank, this is used in the wastewater treatment of, this, uh, of the project, okay? So now it is dropping they are consuming too much water. Now it's already 75. Now if the level go below the 75, then that's the time that my system will kick in, okay? So let's see if it drops below 75. Okay, as you can see, now the solenoid valve, my control logic program give an open uh, command so my solenoid bulb, it's just or it's just energizing the solenoid bulb, so it will open. Okay, when it is open, then that that's the time my pump will try to pump water. Okay, as you can see, the flow is okay. So it the flow of water, it will come here and will go to the uh, final settling tank. Okay, so water will go there, but since there is no any solenoid bulb open here, so the tendency of most of the water will flow in the final settling tank, okay? Now let's simulate that the water is keep on rising. So we want to see, or we want to know when the pump will stop, at what level, okay? So it's already what, 25, okay? We have a big pump that delivers a big amount of water. Oh, I mean, the flow is big. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, this is just to show you how it should work. Okay. Okay. At two fifty, meaning the the what you call this? This tank is already full. Then my control logic program will stop the pump. Then run the ice close the valve or the energize the solenoid valve, okay? Now, this pump is also sequencing, okay? 
So I prepared a simple sequencing logic for this pump, meaning the pump will try to alternate. Okay, sometime pump will run, after some time it will stop, then pump two will run. Okay, now let's simulate other tank. Now let's say this, this one, since the level is already uh, 100 centimeter, now I will try to lessen. Okay, 75. Okay, it drops 75. Now I'm expecting, okay, as you can see, the bulb opens, the solenoid bulb opens, then pump one runs, okay? Now let's say another, uh, another tank, let's see if it will work. Okay, let's see if these things will work. Okay, it's already open. Now the bulb open, okay, pump, it's delivering. So water is entering here, entering in this two, in irrigation water tank, then in fire water tank, okay? Now let's simulate that this uh, water, okay. We'll see. Okay, irrigation tank is almost there. Okay, now the bulb closes. So the most of the water will come here, okay? So let's simulate that this one is already filling up. Okay, now uh, the bulb the solid valve closes, then the pump stops, okay? So this is a very simple simulation of the control. So if you are, you, you will become a BMS engineer, this is how are you going to control the uh, level of the water tanks, okay? So anyone of the water tank go below a level or a certain low level, let's say 75% or 75 centimeter, as per my simple simulation, then the bulb will open, then the pump will run. Then if, it, if the water reaches the high level, maybe it is around 250 centimeter, then the pump will stop, then the bulb will close, okay? So this is how this simple simulation for water tank level management system works. Now, as I said in my previous tutorial that, uh, let's say, because we will, uh, there is a time that your BMS, maybe your DDC panel has some problem, then you need to fill up the uh, tank that is going to the low level. Now, as I said, I have prepared here, I asked the electrical people to prepare a small control panel to be able to uh, open the solenoid bulb in manual operation, okay? So during any problem in the DDC or in the BMS, you can always do the filling up of any tank in manual. So you can manually open the solenoid bulb, then you can run manually the uh, pump, okay? Now let me show you the response of my dynamic text and, okay? No, you see already the response of dynamic value. How about the dynamic text? Let's say this one, uh, if I will put it in manual because it is already connected to my motor control. Now I will try to put it in manual. Okay, as you can see, as you see the response of my dynamic text because I tried to put the selector switch in manual. Now, as you can see, it changes to manual. So let me put it in automatic and reaching my small motor control panel. Okay, as you can see, the real-time value is being displayed in my uh, BMS graphics. Now, uh, let me do the simulation one time again. Okay, let us check this domestic water tank. Okay, please look at the dynamic text, the response of it based on the uh, control panel, okay? So, let me do it fast. So, I'm... Okay, okay. Now, as you can see, pump one. Okay, now it's stopped because it's time to do the changeover, okay? 
So as you can see here, pump to now is on, the command is on, then the run status is on, flow is on. As you can see, there is also flow here, then there's no trip, okay? Now we can always simulate the trip. If I want to simulate the trip, let me simulate the trip. So we can see if it will run. Okay, let, I will try to simulate trip and pump two, then we will see what will be the response, okay? So I will... So I trip, okay, then pump one will run. As you can see, when I trip my uh, pump two, okay, as you can see here, I have trip alarm here, then pump one run, okay. So pump one will now trying to fill this uh, water tank, okay. So I simulated a trip in my pump two, then pump two trips, then it stop then my pump one kick in, okay? So likewise, if pump one trip, then if pump two is working or there's no trip condition in pump two, then it will run, okay? So let me see, let me reset the trip. Okay, so the pump stops, then again pump two, pump one stops, then pump two run because I have a sequencing. Uh, since the run hours of this is less than this pump one, so pump two will try to run again, okay? So guys, this is a very simple simulation of this uh, water tank level management system control, okay? So I started in how I prepared the graphics, okay? Then I prepared the control logic. Here it is. This is the control logic program. Okay. So as you can see, it's working at the background. Okay. Then this is my graphics. Okay. Now, guys, if you have any question, if you have any comments, feel free to uh, put your comment in this tutorial. Then whatever your request, if you want me to do or show you how are you going to prepare the control logic program, just tell me then maybe I will try to do one complete uh, series of tutorial in control logic programming. Okay, so guys, I think uh, I have shown you already how to create a BMS graphics starting from uh, part one up to part six and part seven. Now, actually, this is part seven, uh, the simulation of the control for this BMS graphics. Okay, so once again, thank you very much for watching this and I do hope uh, I am giving you or I'm helping new engineers, those who want to join the building management system or building automation system, and those who want to join um, MEP company, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing company. Actually, what I'm showing you here in my tutorial is what you will find in an MEP company, okay? So if you want to join MEP company, even though you don't want to become a BMS engineer, you can always watch my tutorial so that you will have an idea if you will join an MEP company, what you will find in that company, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing company. What are the, the, what are the jobs involved in this kind of company? You can find it here in my tutorial. Okay, thank you very much. And Santos Capilian Jr. will always say, God bless us all and bye for now.